Hey, what's going on guys? It's OmniArc and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about why I haven't uploaded in the last month. Now, my last upload was the January 18th upload um, of 7 Ways to Make Money Gaming in 2018. Uh, surprisingly, that, that video did a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I kind of planned it to do well, like I, I wanted it to do really well, so I put a lot of work into it um, and, you know, it's actually done pretty good. So. Um, that being said, I haven't uploaded in a month, one month, and I don't think I've gone a month without, without uploading in a long time. And, you know, obviously I haven't been very consistent on YouTube, um, just over the course of like the last, I don't know, year and a half, two years. Um, so I'm sure you guys are, you know, you, you un, like, you don't expect a video from OmniArc every week, although you should, uh, cause the number one rule of growing on YouTube is to be consistent. However, um, I just wanted to talk about why I haven't uploaded for the last month in case you guys wondered where I was um, or whatever uh, you know I'm going to give you some explanation okay and there's a lot of things uh, and a lot of reasons why I haven't uploaded in the last month so if you guys don't care um, then you don't have to watch the video that's pretty much all I'm going to be talking about in this video um, plus a couple of updates about the channel itself and what I'm going to be doing moving forward. So if you guys care about that stuff, stick around make sure you smack that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. So you know when I upload next, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the primary reason that I haven't been uploading is because my computer has been crashing. Um, the last video that I uploaded the a month ago, the seven tips to make money on 2018 or in 2018, um, that one, What's been happening with my computer is I'm getting a blue screen of death and I, I don't know what it is and I haven't like had too much time to try and figure it out. Um, I've tried running system repairs, you know, to repair my disk drives and it gets stuck at like 12% every time I've left it on for hours and it just stays at 12%. Um, so I, I don't know if it's my hard drive or my solid state um, I'm not noticing any failures like I, I can go through and access all my files all my programs run properly um, so all that's fine but it seems like it happens randomly and it's usually when I'm watching a video or something or a rendering a video or something where there's video on screen although that doesn't really narrow it down because everything is video these days so I i'm really not sure um the one thing i will say is actually recording this video i might be onto something because um the logitech webcam software that i use to record which i'm using right now uh crashed out of nowhere and that's never happened as soon as i hit record it crashed um and i was like what the heck so i reset the program hit record crash um so i unplug my yeti mic my um logitech everything uh, and then I remembered that one of my external hard drives was failing uh, to make backups connected to a certain USB port and I was using that USB port I think for my Yeti uh, so I reconfigured everything and I'm no longer using those USB ports um, and now I'm able to record so I think um, the the computer is crashing every time it's attempting to communicate with whatever's plugged into those usb ports and i'm not sure what's triggering it maybe maybe it's just you know after a certain length of time um that the computer hasn't detected a piece of hardware maybe it goes in and then checks to see if it's there and if it doesn't respond it crashes um so i'm thinking maybe those one or both of those usb ports because they're they're right next to each other um i think that might have be it the problem is those are my usb 3.0 ports uh and everything else on my computer is usb 2.0 because this computer was built on a budget like three years ago um and i haven't made too many upgrades since i've put in a solid state for my operating system and i um put in a video card but the motherboard is still a cheap motherboard that i've been using with my amd processor so the computer is showing its age for sure um so all i have are usb 2.0 ports which which kind of sucks um i i'm trying to i'm not really in the fun in a financial position to fix my computer i determined that if i were going to do work on this computer i would really really do it right um and i figured it would be probably about 650 dollars um if i if i salvaged some of the parts that i have in here like you know my um my both my hard drive solid state drive my graphics card um probably toss the ram the motherboard and the cpu keep the power supply i'd probably get a new case because this case kind of sucks 
all in all I'd keep my cooler everything um, everything all said and done it would be 650 or um, I could get an iMac which I've been thinking about doing because then it's all in one I don't have to worry about building it plus then I get Mac OS so I can start to use Final Cut and kind of you know with my iPhone it'll be easier to move videos and pictures from my iPhone to my Mac than it is to move it from uh, win my phone to Windows because if you guys don't know if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have Windows the way that it works is that your your phone is either connected as an iPhone or a camera based on whichever driver you have installed for that you know phone itself so if you want to go in and access video or photos that you've uh, recorded you have to set it up as a camera driver go in drag and drop it takes some time um, and then if you want to go in and, and, and access the device through iTunes you actually have to go in and read you know install a different driver and it's just it's annoying to have to do both um, so yeah I just it's just annoying plus now that I only have two, two uh, USB 2.0 ports transferring like 4k video from here to the computer takes forever so if I got an iMac it would go from Thunderbolt 3.0 to lightning and it would move faster um, and the build quality will just be better than the computer I built because this is a budget computer like all of a sudden done so that's the first reason that that's the primary reason right uh, in the last video I made like I said the one that came out a month ago I left it rendering overnight and woke up to find out that my computer blue screened and crashed so I had to redo the whole thing and that was a long video so the renders took a while so I just it, I it sucks when your computer's failing and you're in the middle of something and you're just basically praying that it finishes that operation before it crashes because you have to start all over uh, and it really like it hogs the computer like I use the computer for other stuff so I can't have it crash in the middle of the day like I have processes running on my computer that I need running even if I'm not home um, just software and stuff on here for different things that I do so you know that being said I can't you know increase the chances of my computer crashing so you know it's been a shitty situation um, and I think my phone timer is about to go off because I have stuff in the dryer so give me a second so I don't know maybe with you know with me figuring out this USB thing um, if the computer stops crashing then I'll know it's because of those USB ports failing and as long as I don't use them I think it'll be fine it'll buy me some time to get in a better financial position to either replace the computer build a new one or whatever you guys will for sure know about that depending on what I decide to do so that's the primary reason is that my computer keeps crashing it's blue screening it says uh, watchdog error um, and there's a million reasons why that could be happening a lot of people say it's drivers bios things like that I've looked into it with as much free time as I can and at this point I'm really not sure my best lead is those USB ports not working properly um, the next reason is that Call of Duty is not something I'm interested in right now um, and that's a bummer it's been over a month uh, since I've even played Call of Duty the reason are for that are because the Call of Duty World War 2 feels it was like I like Call of Duty World War 2 but it it like it got so old so like I can't even tell you why it got old it's almost like before I I haven't even prestige in Call of Duty World War 2 let's just put that out there I have not even prestige once um, with that being said I feel like the little amount that I've played Call of Duty World War 2 I've seen it all I really feel that way I really like there's only what nine maps um, and there's there's literally out of the gate there's no three perk system so once you find the best um, what is it loadout or whatever uh, then that's it you use that on everything maybe best one or two so the Karita class is just boring there's really not like once you find the best gun and the best one fucking perk that you have in this game uh, and the best you know that's it it's it's the game the customization is pretty much gone they've simplified it so much that I feel like I've done it all and I haven't even prestiged yet which is crazy because you know black ops 3 that was not the case I was grinding that game for months probably the first half of black Ops 3's black ops 3's life cycle I grinded that game so I got all the way up to dark matter everything like that so I know that I can still love a call of duty but for some reason the like World War II just got like it's and the thing is I don't even hate World War II like everyone else does everyone's like oh my god this game is shit you know um, there was all this hype around it because boost on the ground but it's actually a bad game like I don't think the game is that bad and I think it has you know some it does some things that it does it some some things that Call of Duty World War II is doing it does it really well if that makes sense um, it's a huge improvement improvement over Infinite Warfare. Um, I've probably played more World War II than I did Infinite Warfare's entire lifespan. 
um so i mean it it's it's got that going for it but the, the DLC and the supply drops, I've never been a fan of them. They don't get me interested in the game. I don't care about those things. Um, so it's just, you know, the game is not fun for me. I, I really don't like Call of Duty as a whole lately. Uh, and it sucks because I don't know what else to play on this channel. This is a Call of Duty channel and I've gotten over that fact. Like I've tried a million times to venture out into different things and they don't get views and I, I understand why. Um, so I've just sucked it up and I understand that this is a Call of Duty channel. I'm going to have to play Call of Duty. So I got to figure that out. Um, but I haven't liked Call of Duty World War II. I like the game is fine, but I, there's nothing in my head that says, Oh dude, you, when you get home today, play Call of Duty. Like I really don't care. Um, on top of that, I played uh, Monster Hunter World when that came out. Um, I played that for probably a week and a half, two weeks when that came out, just playing that. Um, and honestly, like, that's a great game too. But, you know, it's, it's for me, I've never played Monster Hunter before. So, you know, it was my first time playing it because I had some friends getting it. And, like, you know, it's an awesome game. It looks gorgeous. Really, really fun. Um, and it's probably the best Monster Hunter that I've heard from, you know, veteran players that are saying it's the best one. Um, but you know, I'm not going to build a channel around that because even now, like now that I understand like the gameplay of Monster Hunter and everything, it kind of gets boring to me. Not going to lie. Uh, running around the map, trying to find the monster, you know, it's just, it's whatever. I mean, like I said, not to take anything away from the game. It's a great game. It's beautiful. It's fun to play, but you know, I played it for a couple weeks and now, you know, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit over it. So, you know, I really just haven't had content to make. That's really what it is. You know, my computer was crashing. I don't like, I don't want to play Call of Duty. Um, so what am I going to upload, right? Like, I'm not going to just upload garbage because you guys aren't going to watch it anyway. So there's no point in uploading garbage. Um, so that's really it. And then the third reason um, that I haven't been uploading is because uh, the weather, I don't know if I can show you what that looks like. I live in New York, the state of, not... Uh, not the city of but if i go like this um and do you see that it's just cloudy and dark and gray and that's it that's all that new york is uh these days and um i hate it i i am i suffer from seasonal depressive disorder like hardcore um not in like a clinical way like i don't have to go see like a professional or anything like that but like this time of year every year i get so unmotivated because it's just like months of gray just months of gray it gets dark early it's cloudy it's cold like by by mid or by beginning of february i'm so over winter that like it just sucks all of my energy and motivation out of me and i don't want to do anything like i get home from work and i just go to bed like i i nap if, if even it's like five o'clock i just come home and i sleep for like 45 minutes like i just have no motivation to do anything because the weather literally kills my mood like it sucks it really sucks plus the fact that i've been working a lot as well so i feel like I, all i'm doing is getting up going to work coming home it's dark it's gray it's cold you know so just doing that for weeks and weeks and weeks i just like i've lost the motivation to actually do youtube because not only the first two reasons are huge right like that's like the way i make videos and what i make videos about both are gone so it's like what am i gonna do on top of that i'm in the mindset of i don't even want to fix it because i'm just so drained of this like this this weather man it's it's literally and people who don't like get affected by the changing seasons might not understand that like they might say oh like get over it type of thing or you know go seek help if it's that bad but it's really a temporary thing it's not like this during the summer or even during the fall or anything like that this is exclusively a post christmas thing that i experience every single year i experienced it last year the year before that like every year no matter what is going on in my life if my life is good or bad or whatever this time of year it just gets so like i'm just so drained like i can't bring myself to do anything um and my mindset it's just really not a healthy mindset to be in and it's 100 like because of the fact that i have to stay inside because it's cold and it gets dark early and it's gray outside and then i work like a lot so when i come home it's dark out and there's nothing to do and 
it's just it's just doing that for weeks and I can't handle it after a while so it just drains my energy and my mood and my productivity and motivation and everything like that so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to make this video because I decided today I need to start doing something or else my YouTube channel I'll just disappear and I don't want that to happen and I don't want to do that because if you guys didn't know I have over 5,000 subscribers and I my total channel views are over 500,000 that's over half a million views um, so you know I, I'm like super grateful for that and I don't want to leave it um, I don't want to leave it behind so I'm gonna fight for it uh, and I'm gonna fight to be productive and actually post so I need to figure out what game I'm gonna be playing I'm gonna figure out how I can use this computer still to crank out videos because when it's not crashing it does a great job at rendering videos and recording them and everything like that and then I need to figure out how I can stay motivated to keep making videos um, through this disgusting weather. So, you know, I wanted to make a video today. I was like, what do I make a video about? I haven't made one in a month. And I figured I have to at least address why I haven't been uploading just to kind of get that off my chest um, and to get back in the groove, right? Like get back to you get used to talking to this camera again and everything like that and it's kind of like riding a bike like I know how to do it but still I wanted to make this video just to kind of let you guys know why I've been absent like what is on my plate what my life's been up to and that I'm not quitting YouTube um, I just need to figure it out I need to figure out what I'm gonna make videos of and everything like that but um, that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys again soon peace